Uh, big goal was to stay healthy, and second goal was to see some guys perform. This isn't as much pressure as a regular game, but see them perform uh, with some people watching them and maybe a little more excitement around. Um, I have to watch the tape, see how they did today, but I know how they've been doing all spring. Um, so uh, I'm pleased with where those guys are, and they both have some growth, certainly uh, left in front of them, but they both had really good spring. Is anyone in front of the other in that competition at this point? No, no, not right now. we got a long time to go. Scott, both of those guys led touchdown drives at the end, um, Logan and Heinrich. Um, you know, just from what you saw in those moments, is there a takeaway that you have about the way that they played when you know there was something on the line today? Yeah, yeah, and you know it's fun to see them compete a little. You know, the first half is questionable because you, you know, it's hard enough to know where a ball should be spotted when you're just tapping people and it's thud. It's hard to tell. Um, and then even in the second half when the quarterbacks aren't live, but. Um, I know you guys have to write stories about what happened today. I understand that. Um, what happened all spring is more important to us. And it, again, we, we want to see guys that come out in the stadium and love the competition and the environment and thrive in that. And uh, other than that, it's a, it's a spring evaluation that will lead into summer, that will lead into fall. How do you think your lines looked? Uh, your, your offensive and defensive lines being the top two groups on both sides. I was really pleased with that, and I have been all spring. Um, We've really made an effort to be uh, more physical, to finish plays better. Um, we've really improved in that area this spring on both sides. And I uh, thought the one defense did a great job of that. I um, thought we ran the ball as simple as we were. I thought we ran the ball pretty well. And uh, seen big improvement out of the depth, talent, and, and effort and physicality of both, both sides of the line. When, when the ones went against each other in spring ball, who, who won that between those, those two groups of line, front seven versus the offensive line? There was one day the defense whooped the offense's tail, and Sam, the rest of the time, it was a really good back and forth. And you know, I, don't, I don't even know who to root for in those things because I want to see some guys get some sacks, but I don't want to see anybody get sacked. And I want to see guys make catches, but I don't want to see guys give up catches. So. Um, again, I just want to get out of that healthy, but it's been really good back and forth all spring, and um, I think both sides have improved. Looks like you've got some, looks like you've got some running backs that, that seek out some contact just from the guys you've had available to you. How do you feel about that room? The way that they've yeah, I thought that was a bright spot today. i got to watch the tape, but seeing those guys run hard, that's kind of hard to tell sometimes. We're not live very much. Completely tackled the ground very much in spring practice. Uh, just can't afford to be, and the rules don't let us be. Um, so it's kind of hard to tell with running backs. But watching them in the second half and seeing some tackles broken and guys running through contact, I thought that was a, a real positive today. Does Yant feel like a, maybe like a diamond in the rough? Coach Fish did a good job with that. Um, you know, Jock, Jock had scholarship offers. Um, his grades. Uh, weren't where they needed to be and it didn't look like he was going to make it and, and Fish kept fighting for him and uh, we're lucky to have him, glad to have him. Um, he's still got some growing up to do but he, he's a physical presence so um, glad he's able to showcase that a little today. Avion, he missed time all of last year obviously and then at least some time this spring. What's the key for him then I guess going into the summer? The Same as the rest of the guys, consistency. Um, I think you could see the flashes of it today. We keep seeing that. He's he's had just a little rolled ankle. Um, but that's tough with the running back. Gabe had the same thing. Um, so you know you saw flashes of what we expect from all those guys. We need we need more consistency and and we know those guys to grow up fast because they're going to have to play Big Ten football uh, coming up real soon. So uh, looking forward to more progress from him. Whites, uh, the Whites just had 19 yards at halftime against your red defense. I mean, what did you think of the red, red defense, the first team? Uh, if I was one of those guys, I would think it was a little bit of a uh, joke's the wrong word, but it was too easy for him. Um, you know, going out and not having any live tackling and playing a half with a sped up clock. I don't think those guys felt like they worked very hard today, but. Uh, 
we got a lot of guys on that side of the ball playing well, playing a lot better than they did a year ago. Um, they're playing better and communicating better as a unit. So um, I, that's what you would want to see, I guess, is first offense moving the ball well and first defense uh, playing well enough to not give up much. Fisher, is it, Fish, Fisher really emphasized uh, takeaways from his guys in the secondary. Did you see that during the course of spring? Did you see enough of that? We always want more takeaways on defense, and we've certainly been hammering them on not giving the ball up on offense. Um, turnover is the biggest stat in the game. Coach Osborne always told us that, and, and we've been emphasizing that. Uh, so I don't know if I saw enough. Uh, we saw more, but I want to keep seeing it from the defense. And we got guys that are, are capable of making plays to take the ball away. How much, pro how much progress did Manning make this spring? I thought he made huge progress. Uh, just being able to go out there, line up, know every signal, run every play the right way. Um, you know, he's had a few things that have kept him off the field, but when he's out there, he's a, a difference maker for us. So um, he's had a really good spring. And again, we just need consistency from him. If we get that kind of consistency of him being there all the time and, and helping us, um, he's going to be he's going to be really good and we're going to be better. How did Adrian play? Uh, I thought he threw it well. Uh, you know, he had one interception. Had to make a play with a few seconds left in the half, so I would have done the same thing. But um, I said on the radio, I'm glad I wasn't playing quarterback today because you have to throw a tight spiral in that wind to get it to go where you want. And mine would have been fluttering over to York County somewhere. Um, so uh, I thought he played well. He's had a, a really good spring and um, has enough talent to make every play you want a quarterback to make. Uh, he's done a good job of limiting the mistakes this spring. And if, if he can get through games and just be who he is and, and not have the three or four bad plays uh, that, that hurt you, uh, he has a chance to accomplish whatever he wants to. So we're going to keep working with him hard and um, really excited about where he is right now. You have an update on Will Hollis right Yeah, uh, doesn't look good for Will right now. Um, I don't want to say anything until we know for sure, but um, just a kind of a nothing play again on Wednesday and the last spring practice. And Will's been just an awesome teammate. And um, man, I I care about him so much. So it, it really hurt me to see him um, down on the ground on Wednesday. And um, doesn't look like uh, he's he's gonna uh, be ready for the start of season. And, and we'll see where it is beyond that. The number two group there we saw quite a bit in Nadab Joseph this spring wasn't out there today. Was that injury related? Yeah, Nadab's injury related, and um, we had a lot of guys out today, uh, and a lot of guys that have been playing well spring out today. But that's pretty common for spring game. What was Urban Motion's led, uh, gave in the most carries today? Uh, pretty impressive as a new guy. What, what has he done so far to put himself in this position? Yeah, Gabe's impressed me for. Um, youngster should still be in high school. Um, just his approach to it, his maturity, coming in and learning and competing. Uh, he's got a bright future. So he's been hampered again. He had a rolled ankle, so missed a few practices. Was really going well at the start of spring, and then missed a few, and, and then finished strong. So that competition at that position is going to continue through the summer and fall. One or two more. How do you feel to be out there with in front of fans again? Finally, a good question. Um, <laughs> I, I don't know who needed that the most, us to have the fans in there cheering for us or the fans or the city of Lincoln, but it, it's been too long. And uh, the stadium wasn't full, but man, there was there was a lot of people in there. And the sooner we get back to normal, the better for everybody. And uh, man, that was a good first step in the right direction. So thank you to the fans. And I know it it adds a lot to the player experience and coaching experience when, when they're in there. So we appreciate you. I wanted to ask specifically about Harbor. You know, there a couple of months. How did, you know, you gave him the last play there, and he delivered. I mean, that's probably that's probably worth something, right? And, and how, how did you feel like he handled the atmosphere and just ran around the field today? Pretty well. Uh, he should still be in high school too. And and again, we this isn't like a freshman camp back in the day where we installed twenty percent of the offense and the fundamentals. We just threw those guys in and said, learn the whole thing. And um, we were really vanilla today, so it was. Simple stuff, but um, Harburg has a huge arm, and he's a really good athlete, and he's a big kid, and he's smart. So it's just a matter of catching him up with X's and O's and, and know what to do and, and be efficient. And um, 
that's where Logan excels. Logan is really smart, knows the offense, processes things well, and um, those two those two are going to continue to improve. And I, I got a lot of confidence in them. I'm not going after him, but four. Right now, our plan isn't to use it for quarterback, no.